Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine ND. We are in the Wukong character header file, the .h file. So what we have here, we have public protected and a public section. So what I like to do is first I'm going to get rid of this tick because it's called every frame. I don't think we're really going to need the tick right now. And then we're going to jump over to the CPP file of Wukong character. And we just need to get rid of the tick here. And go ahead and save it. And as far as call the functionality for input, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it up into the public section. And I'm going to remove the public here. And I'm going to create a private section. Now, if we do any getters or setters, then we're going to create another public section down below and put a comment in there for getters and setters. So right now we are going to need a U spring arm component and a U camera component. So we need to forward declare them and that just tells Unreal that yes, we're going to be using this class in the CPP file. So we don't need to use the, the uh, include files. So what I like to do is just do declarations and we are going to need a use spring arm component a U spring arm component and a U camera component. And then we come down here into the private section and we go ahead and create those. Now we need a U spring arm component and we're just going to and we're going to have a pointer. We just call this spring arm component. Now there's another way to do the forward declaration. You don't have to do it this way up here. You can just come in here and just do class and you can do it that way. So there's different ways of doing it. Uh, I just put it up top because once you do the class down here again and you don't have to, you don't have to do it again. So. Now, in order to use this, we are going to need a U property. And let me go ahead and make a comment. And this is mark for garbage collection and expose to blue prints. So what this does, it just marks it for garbage collection and exposes it to blueprints. So we want visible anywhere blueprint read only and we're going to put this in category camera and we need a meta specifier because uh, it's in the private section and we are going to use meta equals allow private access equals true because if you don't have that meta specifier allow access true it's going to give you an error because you're trying to access it within the private section so we have a spring arm component and now we want to do u property for the u camera component we're just going to call this follow camera component. And we'll just go ahead and save that. So what we've done is we're taking, we need a U spring arm component and U camera component. We're doing forward declarations up here, or you can just say class and do it down here and do it down below. We need a U property because uh, it's, U property it does the garbage collection and expose to blueprints we put it into a category of camera and we do meta allow private access equals true so if you do not have this and it's going to give you an error 
Blueprint read-only should not be used on private members. So whenever you see that, more than likely it's because you forgot the allow private access. So now we're going to go ahead and save that and then jump into the Wukong character CPP file. So what we need to do is we need to create a camera boom and a spring arm. So, and I'm primary actor tick, can tick every true. Uh, set this character to call tick every frame. You can turn this off to improve performance if you do not need it. So right now, I don't want to use that because I don't think we need it. We can add it later if we do need it. So we need to create a spring, not sprint, spring arm. And we called it spring arm component. So when you're creating components, and these components are going to be on the left-hand side of the blueprint when you open up the character. So we call it use spring arm component. Okay, I am back from the future. And the reason for that is because I forgot to tell you about the include files. With Writer, when I'm typing out code and I type in a, let's say one of these components, like a use spring arm component, it automatically includes the headers for me most of the time. So what you need to do is you need to add these two lines. You need to add include with the pound sign, include camera camera component.h and camera framework spring arm component.h. You need to add these uh, because if you don't, you're going to get uh, errors and it's not going to compile. Now, the best way to know what these include files are is let's say you need it for the spring arm component. You can go to the Unreal docs, go to Google and type in Unreal Engine use spring arm component and you'll see here use spring arm component if you scroll down it'll tell you the include file right here so you just copy and paste that in so i'm just back editing the video to let you know you need to put in these includes so if you go through some of my videos and things are not working then it's going to give you an error saying it can't find something it's probably because of these includes i'm going to try and make sure I don't make that mistake but more than likely uh, if there is an error you'll need to add the include files. You just need a spring arm component and create default sub object and we are creating a use spring arm component and we are going to call this we're just going to call this spring arm. So whenever you create component, you have to say create a default sub object. Don't know why it's called that, but it is. And then a use spring arm component. And of course the text. So now we do spring arm component. Do not know why I'm always trying to say sprint. We need to set up attachment. And the setup attachment is just going to be a root component because we're going to attach it to itself. So setup attachment is an initialize the desired attachment parent and socket name to be attached when the component is registered. So setup attachment to root component. Now the spring arm, spring again, <laughs> sprint again, we are going to, to do target arm length. Target arm length is going to be 300.f because it's a float. And we're going to do a spring arm b use pawn controller rotation. And we want to say true. So what that does is when you move it move around, it's going to move the spring arm like when you are going left and right, up and down. It's going to use the pawn rotation. Now, that is the spring arm. Now we need to have a camera so we can actually see 
the character. Create camera. And we did follow camera component. We are creating a component, so we're going to do create a default sub object. It's a U camera component. And we want to call this camera component. Now, we want to do a follow camera component. We want to set up attachment. We want to set it up to the spring arm component. So spring arm component, we set up attachment to the spring arm component. And it's going to need a spring arm component socket name. So what this does is it creates the follow camera component, create default sub object. We're going to call it camera component. That's the text you're going to see on the left hand side of the blueprint. Set up attachment. We're setting it up to the spring arm component and we're attaching it to a socket name. So then what you want to do is follow camera component B use pawn control rotation equals false because we're doing it for the spring arm component so we don't want the camera to move around we want the spring arm to move around so all we need to do is go ahead and save this and you can go ahead and run it but I've already got the editor up and running so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a hot reload and see if it shows up and build three actions well one process so it's still compiling open up the full blueprint editor And we'll just go ahead and wait until it's done. And there we go. It's done. So it refreshed. And as you can see, we have a spring arm and a follow camera. So if you go to viewport, you can see that we have the spring arm. And as you can see, we have the camera. So when you are modifying this, you want to modify the camera component because the follow camera is attached to spring arm component. That's how we did this setup attachment. So the target arm length, we added 300. You can change this to, let's say, 500. And we can change this to, let's say, 30, 100. So now it set, sets up. And you can save it. So this is great because now we've created a spring arm component and a follow camera so we can see the player. And you can modify these however you want, uh, just like you would do when it's normally there in Blueprints. So when we go to the test map and we click play, now we're able to see our character. So what we need to do now, because if you click inside here and you move around, you can't move, you can't rotate. So there's no movement and we have to program that in. But for right now, we just wanted to create a spring arm and a camera to be able to view the character. So that's what we just did. So to recap what we did, we did a forward declaration of use spring arm component, use camera component. Then we came down here, we created a private section marked for garbage collection and exposed to blueprints, spring arm component. And then we create a follow camera component. And I just put this in here so you understand what it's doing. So we have a sprint. There we go. Sprint. Why sprint? Spring. Through the whole video, I typed in sprint. And guess what? I'm not going to redo the video. So here we go. 
we got a use spring arm component. Now, see, I didn't type sprint there because, well, it kind of did it for me. U camera component, and then in the CPP file, we got rid of the tick stuff because I don't think we need it. If we do need it, then we can add it in later. Create a spring arm component. You create default sub object, use spring arm component, have the text name, and we set up attachment. It's going to be the root component, arm length, default of 300, use pawn control rotation true. Then we set up a create camera, create default sub object, U camera component, added the text. We set up the attachment of the camera to the spring arm component with the socket name, uh, use spring arm component socket name. Follow camera, use pawn control rotation to false because we're using the spring arm for that. So that gets us a spring arm component and follow camera. And that's it. Thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you in the next video.